Okay, just going to very briefly explain the Michael edition. The Michael edition is a 1 4 addition to an alpha beta unsaturated ketone or ester um, by some nucleophile. It doesn't have to be this. I've, I've put electron withdrawing groups here just to illustrate a point, and we'll give examples of that. Basically, it gives this species here. So, if you ever see anything where the um, you have a carbon, say this position, one, two, three, four. Now, slightly confusing. It's not to be confused with this this uh, numbering system. It's more for retrosynthesis. If you ever see something where you've got um, four carbons away from a uh, carbonyl species like this, or even a double bond, then you can sh start to think about a Michael addition because it all happens around these two carbons here. Okay, so these two carbons here, this one and this one, were um, the additions really taking place. And if you're doing retrosynthesis, then it's at that bond there that you can disconnect. Okay, so you know that you can add these two species together. I'll just go back a bit, I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at some examples of this. If we take, for example, um, some diester, that's a good one. So take a diester. Diethylester. It's got proton there. If we did proton it out with some base, doesn't matter what base it is for now, I'll put some lone pairs on the base. If we deproton it that, it should be quite stable because of the um, Pi system that's already in place there. Draw a negative charge there. Oops. Let's draw that a bit better. Okay, so you can imagine that being quite delocalized, forming some nice inlet system. I'll just draw the just draw one of the inner layers just to show you what I'm talking about. Negative charge on there. Okay, so that can go there, and then obviously it can go down here as well. So it's a nice stabilized intermediate. Now that intermediate there which I will try and copy. don't normally do this in my tutorials, but I'll try and copy it. And move that over here. Okay, so we've got this nice intermediate here, which is quite a reactive intermediate, I suppose, because it doesn't want to stay like that. And that can react with um, a Michael adult, a uh, Michael Acceptor, should I say? Sorry, not adult. Like this. And rather than attacking the carbonyl, because this is uh, less hindered, it can come in here like this, form a nice stable intermediate. give the diethyl ester connected to I'm going to draw this bit in blue so you can see that it's a different part of the molecule from before no it's not coming up very well in blue I'll change the colour to green see if that comes up a bit better yeah, that's a bit better I 
actually. I've done that slightly wrong there, so I'll just delete that. So this here really should have been a double bond, and this should have been Nina later here. So this is a double bond. It's not it's not drawn very well there. So let's see if I can make that look a little bit better. Let's draw that again. Okay. So make make that more defined double bond. I just can't draw that double bond today. Okay, so that's that's your inlet therefore um which will tautomerize back. Pick up a proton. Remember if we're in a negatively choice environment, I'm gonna use ethanol, so we've got ether uh sorry, we've got ethoxy species around, I'll just use ethanol. Charge back on there, so we never have a pr positive charge. So that proton's come off a solvent, and that should give us the um, product of the Michael addition, which is my writing is a bit terrible at the moment, but try to be a bit neater. Here we are, diethyl species. And that is the Michael edition. Oops. <laughs>